All right, so in this quick tutorial, we're going to see how to build a AI agent that can be able to answer any questions that we have about our database. So here we have our SQL database that has information about the medical supplies. So we have the medical equipment's name, and we also have the information about which room is this medical equipment is located, as well as the cost for the equipment, as well as some additional information about the equipment. So for example, here we have a chat that we built from NAN. And we can be able to ask simple questions like what's the most expensive equipment in the facility and if you were to look at the execution we do see the execution has been run and now you can see that the execution has been finished and has succeeded and the way how it works is that we basically send a message to the chat like what we did here and that will basically trigger the workflow and once the ai agent received the message it will basically use the chat model here to generate the sql query and since this is a sql agent it's going to use that sql query to query the data inside of our database and once the data is being queried and it's being returned then it's going to use the chat model here to generate the response and send back the response to our chat which is the response we see here now to follow along with this video make sure you have a structured sample data that you can work with and for mine i use chat GPT to generate the dummy data. But once you have the structured data, we can then be able to use a tool called Superbase to upload our data and integrate it with our NAN workflow. All right, so if you're excited for this video, let's get started. Once we have a Superbase account, then what we can do is we can be able to create our new database tables. So once we have a database created, we can be able to click on new table to create a table here. And here, I'm just going to give it a name for the table. We're going to call it the medical equipments. And then below here, we can be able to import data from CSV. So I use ChatGPT to generate the dummy data. And you can see that the data that we work with is very simple. We have the equipment ID, the item names, and we also have the room types for related information about the medical device. So once everything looks good, then we can be able to click on save. And then here we can be able to set a primary ID because here we have the equipment ID. So we're going to use the equipment ID for the primary key. And then we're just going to click on save. Okay, so once we have our data created, we can be able to click on the table to view the data. So you can see that exactly we have 10 records of data. Okay, so once we have the data, then what we can do is we can navigate to NAN to create a first workflow. I'm just gonna give it a name for this workflow called the Medical Equipment's SQL Agent here because we're trying to use a SQL agent to answer questions about our database. So in that case, the first step we're gonna do is, is to have a on chat message. So whenever there is a message prompt from the user, it will trigger the workflow. And then once we have the chat, then what we can do is we can be able to search for AI agents. And then here, instead of using a tools agent, we're going to use a SQL agent. And because the data that we have here is using a Postgres SQL database, then what we can do is we can be able to connect it using the connection information here. And once we connect it, we can then be able to select the Postgres for the account connections. And then what we can do is we can be able to select a model. I'm just gonna use the Anthropic chat model. So then what we can do is we can be able to test this workflow by click on the open chat. Okay, so before we test it, I also want to show you the data that we have. So here I have pulled the data from the database to and Google Sheets so that we can be able to filter the data and understand what the results when we ask the question. So I have basically laid out the questions in a Google Doc. So this is the Google Doc that we're going to follow to ask those questions. And you can see that these are the AI capabilities that we want to test. So it should be able to filter the data to be able to get the sum for the values. It can also be able to do multi-filterings and be able to sort and limit or things like we can be able to get the average for something, right? So let's start with the first question, which is what equipment is required for the exam room? So if we were to look at the data that we have, and this is the exact same data that we have in our database. So we do see that for the exam room, we do see that there's only one item that's required so that's ecg monitor so i'm going to ask this question to our ai agent to see how it responds and here you can see the workflow has been triggered okay so here you can see we have the result which is the ecg monitor right here so here you can see we're able to ask this question and we're able to find the right answer here all right so the next question is what's the total cost of all the equipments in a icu so here for the room type is equal to icu we have only one item and the cost for this is this amount so we're expecting to have this exact amount to be returned as the output so i'm just going to copy this question and paste it here okay so here you can see we have the total cost of all the equipments in icu which is 47,851. And if you were to look at the Google Sheets, we do see the exact number here. And if you were to look at the exact query that we run, and we do see that we have the sum for the unit cost as total cost from this table right here, where the room type is equal to ICU. So we do see that the SQL query here seems about right. And we are able to get the exact answer. So I would say pass for this one. So let's move on to the next question. What equipment is marked as urgent? So this question, we're really trying to test the multi-filter. It should be able to filter the records 
where the status is equal to urgent and the room type is equal to the exam room. All right, so I'm going to ask this question. And while this is running, let's take a look at the Google Sheets here. So the question is, we want to find the equipment that is marked as urgent. So let's filter by urgent here and also in an exam room. So we don't see an exam room in the records here. So we're expecting no result found. So let's see. So you can see that the output, there are currently no equipment items that are both marked as urgent and located in the exam room. And we do see that this is the right answer. So in that case, we're just gonna mark it as passed. So the next question we're gonna ask is, what's the most expensive equipment in the facility? So let's try to find the answer first. So we're going to sort by the maximum. So that should be the ECG monitor for the equipment. So in that case, I'm just gonna ask this question to the AI agent and let's see how it responds. Okay, so you can see the most expensive equipment in the facility is ECG monitor, which costs this amount, which is the exact same amount as what we have here. And if we were to check the SQL query, we do see that we're ordered by descending order and limit down to one. So then we can mark this question as passed. So last question is gonna be getting the average for the all the equipments. So to get the average cost for all the equipments, we're just going to use the average function from Google Sheets. And we're just going to select the values here and we're going to get it roughly around $25,000. So we're just gonna ask this exact questions in the workflow on what's the average cost for all the equipments. Okay, so we have the number here, which is 25,215.22. And if we were to look at the answer, which is roughly around the same. And if we were to look at the logs here, we do see that this is the exact same query that's run in the R database to fetch the data and be able to generate the output. All right, so I'll mark this question as passed, but we can see that based on the testings that we did, we do see that the AI agent or the SQL agent here is able to take the questions that we're asking and be able to convert it into a proper SQL query that can be able to fetch the data that we need.